And the top of the eighth, Stephen Vogt calling on Emmanuel Class A. Two on, two outs, two strikes on Wenseal Perez. What a piece of hit and lines it to left. Stephen Kwan. Did he catch it? Did he? Oh, yes, it did. They Paul say on yes. The field work. Is an inning ending catch. AJ Hinch says, uh uh. I need you to look at that again. Uh oh, I still think. I still think. But you know what? Yeah. It don't matter what we think, though. I heard that. To hit the ground or the webbing of the glove, you have to have clear and convincing evidence He'll tell of you return. No. <laughs> I'm sure he will. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel Class A, all sorts of fired up. That's going to change soon. Jimmy, cover your ears. Were the outfielders the most athletic on the field tonight? Quan, and then this, Parker Meadows. He has done this a few times. And he does it on the national stage, robbery all over it. To the top of the ninth, we go let the offense work for you, Trace. We need two outs in the ninth, a single. He puts men on first and third, and then the stuff of legends. Kerry Carpenter, what dreams are made of. Hanging slider, middle, middle, three in a row. Ding dong, Johnson. He knew it off the bat, barreled it so Everybody high. Knew. A cool night in Cleveland off the previously unhittable Emmanuel Class A is human. Wow, October something, isn't it? Mm. Emmanuel Class A this season never allowed multiple runs in the same game <laughs> until tonight. The and Tigers playoffs. take game two. It is the playoffs. Kerry Carpenter, the hero after the game. I don't know if I can describe it, but um, yeah, I knew it was gone. And, uh, and it was just an amazing feeling being able to come through for this team because our pitchers are keeping us in these games like crazy. Everybody knows it. It's no secret that he's a big threat and, and he's prepared and um, he's as balanced a human as you're going to get, which allows him to stay grounded in whatever, you know, whatever we ask him to do. I was in the weight room kind of doing the post throw stuff. And um, I mean, what a swing. I was on the ground and I think that's the fast I've ever stood up in my life. So what a swing off of a really good pitcher too. You know, the best closer in the game. Emmanuel's been lockdown all year he's been nearly perfect you know he's human too Those, these things are going to happen and it's unfortunate the timing of when it did but at the same time i love baseball you know i mean you can't help but watch that game and not enjoy it and we were on unfortunately on the losing end of it everything went right until carpenter squared up that slider and carrie carpenter doesn't start against lefties he does hit three run shots in october that's going to have to change, have to change that I mean, you're going to have to let the man prove that he can't hit lefties. I don't know what he's done at the lower levels, but he's a big bat. He needs to be in that lineup every day. Just having his presence in that lineup means a lot. And as we got to the top of the ninth here, we take like this at bat. Last day falls behind. Going. He falls behind. And then you see Carpenter starting to get a little bit aggressive, chasing pitches a little bit, you know, getting a little bit out of himself. But he wants to be in that moment. He's, he's starting to get loose. He's starting to get some time in. You throw a guy three sliders in a row, after a while, a good hitter is going to say, you know what? And we saw it. I, 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 I witnessed it when Kurt Gibson did it against the A's. He's going to throw me another slider. Mm -hmm. And you talk about, we talked about uh, earlier, breaking down. He stayed on that back leg. And you can see him just stretching like a rubber band, waiting for that ball to come to the green light zone. And he hit every stitch in that ball. That was every a stitch beautiful in that ball, swing. As my man Brandon Phillips would say, he did not miss an absolute stitch. He knew it off the bat. Mm -hmm. Cleveland, um, uh, Cleveland, you know, a little lot of air out of that balloon. Detroit's going home 1-1 one, one with home field advantage. They, and you know they're feeling good. Yes, they are. The second, the third straight slider left Emmanuel Classe's hand, you said, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like it. What were you watching? Uh, because I saw this, the previous swing he took on the fastball. He was late. And he was supposed to be, uh, uh, the count was in his favor. And he was late on that one fastball. One-on-one on the corner. If you don't learn how to read swings, sometimes you can fall into the trap of thinking I'm going to fool him and, and it's not going to happen. I think the, uh, the, 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 you know, the swings and, and, and the speed of the ball talks to you. If, if, if I throw you a fastball and a fastball count and, and you're late, I, I, I have to try it again. That's right. I have to continue to try that until you show me that you're going to be right on time with my fastball. And that wasn't the case. Uh, he went. He went to the slider, got a cutter up that got by him. Mm -hmm. But but the other ones, he was on it. And then the third one, the one he hung, uh, went really deep. 
Coming, I mean, far. he came off the bench in the eighth. How do you see him ready for that at bat? It's tough there, especially in this situation when you're coming off the bench. The only thing I think that's helped him is, unfortunately, he has been platooning. So there's been games he doesn't start. He may have to pinch hit and mm. come in. So he might have had some situations here. But going back to it before, he needs to be in the lineup. He's only had less than 30 at-bats against lefties, so how is that enough sample size to say he can't do it? So I looked at his career numbers. What'd you He's find? batting 200 against lefties. Is that earth-shattering numbers? But left on left in today's game, he needs to be playing. Mm -hmm. He's a physical presence. He changes the lineup around. Mm -hmm. And the way these bullpens are set up now, a righty's going to come in the game. You want him ready when that moment comes. You agree with that, Jesse? You want him in against lefties? Um, I'm not sure, really, because... Uh... I don't know how he's done in the minor leagues over a long period of time. And, and, you know, a lot of times when you break a kid in, you know, from the minor leagues, you want to set him up for uh, success and put him in a position of success. I think eventually he'll probably, be, you know, play every day. But right now he's still getting his feet where, you know, I think he came up. He has less than two years in the big leagues. 19th round pick. Right. And see, um, I know how he feels. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to second guess, you know, A.J. Hinch. And those guys over there, because I've been second guess enough. But mm -hmm. on, on on the other hand, uh, you know, if he keeps doing you know heroic stuff like this, mm. sooner or later he's going to be in the lineup. Mm. And I told you before he started. I mean, you I like thought this guy yes, liked him a lot because yes, I, I, you know, I've seen him some. I haven't seen him a lot. But, you know, like he had some great at bats against us last year. 19th round pick. Not everyone is can't miss in this sport right away. If I that was doesn't 25th. Take... I was 25th round. Think around. about that. What were you, Jimmy? That. Second. Second. Oh, God. He <laughs> you asked. Did you, so you, you did, did it. You know? <laughs> he knew. He knew oh, what he was going. Oh, on. That's the last he thing we did. Where were you, Curtis? Third round. Third, Third round. round. See, see, I'm the pole boy on this. On this, on this. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Oh, I, Joe. I, I, I got $6,000 no to and, sign. And, and a ticket. $6,000. And a flight. $6,000 to sign. Hey, Joe. Yeah, that's all. Out of the Dominican Republic. And a chance. Yeah, and a chance. It worked out pretty well. Uh, oh, I, I, believe me. I, <laughs> when did you I'm know a, you were different, Pedro? I'm, a, I'm a still loving it. Yeah, huh? but $6,000. When did you know you were different? Uh, as soon as I was about to probably get a deal. Because uh, the things I heard about, you know, my physical body and my future uh, developing, they weren't nice. Mm -hmm. And I took that to, to, to fuel myself and to fuel my career and to inspire myself to, to be better every single day. You know, when I first saw you, I thought he was going to be a closer. Because well, I, I, sh I should have been if they listened to Otter Hertzscher, Yeah. but they didn't. And instead, they used me all year. Uh, by next year, they said he can't last five innings in the big leagues mm -hmm. and ship me out to Montreal. Yeah, and I, so. thought he was too, I thought he was too little to be a starter every day. I, mm -hmm. I didn't think he could last, but I didn't know what was in his heart. I didn't know what was in his mind. Me too. Oh. Really? So you mean so you mean analytics can't show us what's in his heart and mind? Dusty? No, no. And next thing I know, here he is okay. in the Hall of Fame as as, as a starter. Gosh, you know, you, it's you a real know thing. One other it's thing. not a baseball it's, reference. It's a real thing. One yeah. other thing that they needed was eyes to give me an opportunity. And and so I'm not saying the Dodgers didn't have enough eyes. It was just that they had a prototype of player. They liked them tall. Tall, yes. big guys. My brother fit the criteria really well. Yes, he did. But I didn't. And, and you know, the work ethics, the different abilities that I had, like, like you know, different things to spin the ball and all that, they, they totally went over it. They didn't realize why is this guy being so small uh, uh, pitching like a big guy. So for young pitchers out there, Pedro, what's the best advice you can give them? Never Never, ever give up on your dream. Go get it and make it happen. Uh, play it like there's no tomorrow. And uh, just respect it, work hard, and don't look back. And, Pedro, what about us talking? Got to run, right? I, yeah, I was a runner. And I wanted to prove to everybody that I was going to last longer than they say it. Mm. And 18 years later, and, and the Hall of Fame, I can say I did it. One of the best to ever do it. Yes, you did. And now you're choosing your daddy on national TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do we have the after, after, oh, talking, after talking like a daddy, now I get, I get to pick my daddy. <laughs>